Sup guys, I just got done watching the last episode of Hard Knocks, and all I could really say right now is thank God. Thank God I don't have to make another Hard Knocks video until next year. Because, you know, the Hard Knocks uh, videos were fun, but like, I just, I just want to like, actually start talking about like, real football now, not just TV. But... Yeah, there's a lot to talk about uh, from this episode, so uh, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about are the roster cuts, because it happened in the very beginning of the episode. So first they get Jason Brownlee to sit down, and when I was first watching it, I was I thought they were going to cut him. I thought he, he was going to be off the team. I thought they were going to kick him out the fucking door. But they actually kept Jason Brownlee. But not only did they keep Jason Bromley, they also kept Xavier Gibson. So they kept the Bromans together. They they kept Jason Bromley and Xavier Gibson together. And I'm so happy. The Jets coaches were happy too. Like th- those two, those two are just such good friends. And I'm glad they get to play on the Jets together. It's also crazy that you consider that both Jason Bromley and Xavier Gibson were both undrafted wide receivers, and they were a long shot to make the team. But, hey, guess what? They made the team. And I think I think it's crazy because how many teams are going to get two undrafted wide receivers who both make the roster? I just think that's crazy, and I think you kind of got to give uh, props to the Jets for an office. But, unfortunately, they couldn't keep everybody. So they ended up cutting Tanzel Smart, the defensive lineman, and that really sucked. I I really like Tanzel Smart. He was a family man. He was relatable. But you know, the NFL is a tough business. They couldn't keep him. However, they did put him on practice squad, so he gets to stick around a little bit. Which hey, it's better than nothing. So that's pretty much the roster cut portion of the episode. The rest of the episodes, them pretty much just practicing and some other stuff like Sauce Gardner, like going to Buffalo Wild Wings. But um, I want to talk about this because this was really interesting in the episode. So Aaron Rodgers, he brings down an old college teammate. I forgot his name, but um, that's not really the point. The point is he recounts a story. I'm pretty sure, I don't know where it took place. But I guess he was at his teammate's house. But this is when Aaron Rodgers was in college, by the way. So he's at his teammate's house. And he recalls seeing a UFO. Like, not not even joking. Aaron Rodgers sees a fucking UFO in the distance. And it's a large object. And it's flying. And him and his teammates see it go by. And then... Um, A few seconds later, they hear fighter jets. And then the next day, um, they're expecting to hear shit, like, in the newspaper or something. And they don't hear anything. Like, nothing. Like, honestly, I don't know if I believe in aliens or not. I'm not 100%, like, on the aliens or real train. But, I mean, that's, that's pretty good evidence. If it's coming from Aaron Rodgers, hey... He's probably telling he's probably telling the truth. The last thing I want to talk about is what Robert Sala says at the end of the episode when addressing the team. And I think it's a really good point. So Robert Sala brings up Mount Everest and how it takes 45 miles to actually get to the climbing point of Mount Everest from the base. And he talks about um how everything before the regular season is it's a very long walk to get where you need to climb. So the climbing portion of Mount Everest, he's comparing that to the regular season, the hard part, then everything leading up to the regular season, training camp, preseason, he's comparing that to the 45 mile walk from base to the climbing point and that the season is here and it's time to be focused and it's time to get shit done. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Wait, wait, I, I uh, forgot to talk about this. Uh, the Jets went to a Broadway show, and the show was about Michael Jackson, and one of the guys tried to teach Solomon Thomas how to dance. I'm pretty sure it was Solomon Thomas. And then uh, 
Randall Cobb compared uh, Garrett Wilson to Michael Jackson. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the series. It's gotten a lot of views, in my opinion. I know I'm just a small YouTuber, but like 30 views, 100 views, th that's a lot to me. So thank you for watching. And um, I'm going to be making a series of reacting to every game for uh, for the week. And I'm, I'm also probably going to stream tomorrow night. Yeah, that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.